welcome back to my channel and welcome back to new york today is my first day back and why am i not surprised that something like this would happen as always you need to be careful when you're flying in new york city there are five safe designated to fly locations it's not that you can't fly anywhere else in new york it's just that it's iffy it may or it may not be legal to fly now there are apps and so on and so forth to help you decipher whether you should or should not be flying in certain areas and of course if you own a dji drone then the software gives you even further assistance as a matter of fact too much assistance sometimes anyway i'm not going to get into that today i just want to welcome you guys back before i go any further if you are a patron that means you support my channel and the content that i make so i have a few patrons names that i'll put in a hat and pick from the hat so be sure to watch my next video to see if you're a patron if you want any one of these t-shirts i hope you enjoy in today's video i just want to share my experience it's been a while since i've flown and it's been over two months since i've flown anything bigger than a spark so i'm itching to fly of course i met up with some of the cool folks from the nyc group in brooklyn coney island to be exact i also took the pirate disco drone it's a fixed wing drone it's not your typical uh, multi-rotor uh, quadcopter this thing is fun this drone is fun to fly it's my favorite drone to fly and every time i just want to relax and and do something rc that's the first thing i grab uh, i do have the accessories to do the yes unlimited range uh 4g mod soft mod and i'm going to be working on that pretty soon and flying from queens to brooklyn or queens to brooklyn to bronx if depending on how far it can take me and how long the battery lasts part disco films in 1080 1080p 30 frames a second max and it's not the best camera but i was pretty happy just being immersed in the flying and the footage it was just a phenomenal experience i had a blast So after finished flying the disco, I guess it just was not enough for me. I had to try out the uh, focus wheel on the Inspire 2 and that's when things got really interesting. Thanks to AutonomousDroneServices.com. If you're not familiar with their services, head over there. They're my sponsors. Uh, the Inspire 2 that I used in today's video was provided by them for me to use. Uh, from the time I launched the drone and just went straight up, out of nowhere, I did attempt to go down, but then I realized uh, not only did I realize that I was higher than the chopper and I was not quite at 200 feet, or at least it seemed like I was higher than the chopper, but all of a sudden the chopper came into my frame. Now it wasn't close to me and that's because the chopper was flying out further out as you can see on the beach area, but usually that's the route I take. I usually fly out on the beach area because I don't want to fly too much over people. It probably would not have ended well if I went out that far. of the story is be careful when you're flying in New York City especially if you're not in the 
safe designated to fly areas and even if you're in those safe designated to fly areas the nypd helicopters pretty much can do and sometimes will do whatever they want and it's something that's happened to me twice uh, a chopper nypd chopper has actually been much closer to me and i've had to avoid it so it's a good thing the drone was in line of sight these are the benefits of flying line of sight you're able to yield for manned aircrafts and i did the best that i could i wasn't done there of course two months no flying i headed back to queens by that time the place was getting dark traffic in new york city go figure uh, i went to flushing meadows park which is one of the safe to fly locations in new york city and I got some low light shots with the Phantom 4 Pro Plus and man, I just want to share it with you guys. Um, tell me guys what you think. This is 4K, 24 frames a second. And um, I'm not gonna lie, it's growing on me. of like it and uh, let me know what you guys think this whole video is gonna be in 4k 24 frames a second so I hope you enjoy let me know what type of videos you guys want to see if you guys are not a patron head over to my patreon account and become a patron I am still giving away either a Mavic 2 zoom a Mavic 2 Pro or a Autel Evo drone to one of my patrons as soon as I reach 1800 patrons I'm still preaching it. It's taking a long time, but I know I'll get there eventually with your support. I actually will be comparing the footage between the Autel Evo. Uh, I just think it's a fun video to do and the Inspire 2, just so you can have an idea with a micro four thirds sensor versus a standard half inch sensor, arguably the best quality half inch sensor drone on the market what it looks like we obviously know that the inspire 2 will have uh, better footage or will it so if you want to see that kind of stuff just hit subscribe